Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, another Samantha episode. Today we are working on the engine. We're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. I've got my buddy Justin over here. He's giving me a good hand. And I went to start it up to show him what was happening and the battery's dead. So the battery was so dead, I actually had to jump it. Just basically just connect the jumper cables to Bobcat and then bring it down here and connect this. That gave enough little voltage to start the trickle charger. When I ran the trickle charger the first time, just connecting it to the battery, it gave me an error. So I can actually probably remove these now, and then it'll continue to charge. So that'll be a good start there. And then we can, I have another battery, so I'm just gonna put the other battery inside the truck. So after I did got that battery charging over there, I threw in the new battery, which is actually out of a Volkswagen and the one of the Volkswagen bugs but I mean 12 volts is 12 volts so this should work right so then I we connected all the uh, the spark plugs and everything on that side so that we could um, that I took apart for the compression test so we put that all back together and I was going to show Justin how rough it's running and um, and so I started it up and it actually was running fairly decent which was weird so then we took it out and I actually drove it around a little bit. He said, you know what you need to do is drive it around. And I was like, no, dude, it barely runs and it's running like crap. But I did it anyway because I wanted to drive it and I thought it'd be fun. And even though it doesn't have any brakes because we had to take the front brakes apart, um, I was using the e-brake to stop and move. And the e-brake works great, by the way, which is awesome. And so we we're driving around and I drove it back and we went to go get a timing light and the truck died. So then we grabbed the timing light we, I started it back up and it was running even better. So when we were playing around, futzing around with the timing light, looking at the time, figuring out what the timing should be and that nature, it, something weird happened and a rev went up and then right back down and then it started idling smooth. Everything started working out really well. And we jumped in the cab and we actually went for a loop um, around my road and we went down a court and we were driving around a little bit and everything's continuing to run better and better and better. So really we didn't do a whole lot today but the engine's running it's driving around and that's awesome all right i'm on my way to the gas station i grabbed the gas can out of the shop i'm gonna go grab some gas so i can put more gas into the fuel tank because i got some sea foam and that's going to clean out the fuel injection system so on my way to grab the gas so then we can incorporate sea foam so we can get a better running engine All right, so we're back from the gas station. I got the gas, and the reason we got the gas was because I got some sea foam. This stuff is supposed to clean out your fuel injection system, and it's supposed to clean out the engine, removing any debris or smudges and gunk inside of there. So I'm gonna start with the gas tank. It says it takes, for one ounce of the sea foam, we'll go with one gallon of gas. So I've got five gallons down here in a jug, and there's probably about two or three gallons inside of the tank now. And then once I'm done running that and seeing if that does any improvements, I'm going to do a little time lapse here on the motor and see if there's anything else that happens. Once that's done, um, I'm going to put it inside the engine and then we can watch and see if anything improves there. So uh, let's pour the gas in and let's put some sea foam inside of there. I'm just going to pull the float out. This will give me easy access. is easy to pour easy to set everything else up this might go a little faster <laughs> or not let's just pour gas everywhere Whoa. damn it Sometimes I wish I had an assistant. Who doesn't love the smell of gasoline? All right. 
Cast done. There are many warnings on this, like a whole section um, of warnings right in this area. So make sure to read the label, do as it's instructed. And I'm gonna pour about eight ounces or so into my cooking measuring cup. I'll wash it. <laughs> I'm gonna pour that right in. There we go. All right, I'm gonna clean this up so we don't have any more problems. And then uh, I'm gonna give it a start. All right, so now we're gonna put some sea foam inside the crankcase. What I did was I pulled out some oil um, straight out of the bottom. This had been running for a little bit with the sea foam in the gas tank. So this is what we've got now. I wanna compare it to the what the oil looks like after the sea foam, see if it gets any darker, see how it turns out. So we're gonna pour the rest of the can inside of here. I put a little extra inside the gas tank if you're doing the math. Um, I didn't think it was gonna hurt that system. And I wanted to be precise on this one to see what it would happen, what it would do. So all we're going to do is just pour it in. Then I'm going to start it up, run it for a while, and uh, see what happens to that oil. See if it changes color, see if it um, runs better, see if it idles better. and I don't know. We'll see what happens. So here's what the engine sounds like after an hour of running with the sea foam inside of it. So here's the oil that I pulled out of it before I put the sea foam inside. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this engine cool and then I'm going to pull out some more oil so we can compare and see it, if it's darker or what it looks like if it even up it up to the viscon viscon viscosity? Viscosity. viscosity viscosity thank you we'll see if it even up the viscosity to the oil so we're going to do a little comparison but that'll be next time so if you want to follow along with this Samantha build hammer down on that subscribe button if you have any more suggestions on what I should be doing on this motor if uh cleaning out specific things or better ways to make it run, let me know with a comment down below. And don't forget, keep crawling.